So this is what I've been up to, guys. I couldn't let the refrigerator die. So I just kept thinking about it, and it seemed pretty basic. I, I took that original shroud that wrapped around the element, folded it open, and put this six-gallon rectangular box in. I was going to put it like a 10-gallon barrel, but where I've got the refrigerator, I got in the way of my screen door, and it just wouldn't work. So I made this. It may need more sand. I believe it will work, but I can't swear to that. The theory is the solar panels will heat the sand up during the day and keep the refrigerator going during the day. And then at night, the hot sand will continue, hopefully at least keeping the refrigerator frozen, the freezer frozen. If it'll keep the freezer frozen all night, that's what I'm working towards. Well, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that this just might be the world's first sand battery operated refrigerator. I already disconnected the power earlier this morning when I thought of the idea of building a box right here out of that diamond plate. This is going to be bent out. The square box will be here, mount on here, and I'll have some stands, braces here to hold it up. I have to cut into this bracket here for this new uh, piece to fit. I mean, this diamond plate sand box will hold approximately six gallons of sand. I'm going to add maybe two elements. I'm not sure exactly what type, but it's going to be interesting. There's the original shroud that went around the pipe and the insulation. project I'm adding these two elements in the sand battery that's going to run the propane refrigerator there's already an element in there it's going to be running also element side plate okay this is the sand battery refrigerator element plate layout and parts <laughs> 